Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to Cheryl for the coffees. That was very kind. It's very much appreciated. Today's card is <laughs> going to be a Christmas card only because it suits the little stamp that I'm going to use today. This was um, one of the ones from the Gummy Pan Mystery Bag from Gummy Pan UK. I'll put the details just along the bottom of the screen here. And I thought we'd have him there on this little sentiment that says it's never too early for Christmas movies, which I did on the PC. So let's get this little guy stamped. I've got our card base and the matte layer already made. Right, let's get him stamped with Memento first. I'll leave that in there because I might re-stamp him. Okay, we don't need many colours for him, so... Okay, I think I've got all that I need. So, I'm going to start with the Lotus Greys, which is Neutral Grey 2 and 3. And this is for his body. And I want his body to look, the inside of his body to look white. So I'm just going to do a bit of shading with the grey, but leaving some white. So anywhere where there would be a shadow. With his glasses. I'll put a little bit there. And his foot. This will be a bit shaded down there. And I'm going to blend it out with a lighter one. Right, next one I'm going to do is these ones, which is the brick beige and the carob cocoa. That is just for his popcorn, and this is for the remote. The next is. Rouge, orange and quince for his feet and beak. So I'll gloss the bottom of his feet, bottom of his beak. And then blend that out. So I think what I'll do is popcorn bag red, bright red and cadmium red. Sorry about my bit. Do a very light chocolate pink inside the bag. Just give it a little bit of colour. Okay, glasses are going to be blue. I think they're 3D glasses, which are normally black, but I don't want to do them black. Piano blue and cornflower blue. So I'm just going to do the bottom. This bit. 
かね。And then finally, him, his body, which is going to be cool grey, nine, seven, and four. So a bit of dark ground here. Hand will be dark. And his feet. Underneath his bottom. Of his arm. And that foot. And his glasses. And we'll do a bit coming from there. Highlight up along his back. And this top of his arm. And the top of his head. And put the highlights in. I will put more highlights in with the white pen as well. And that's him done. So I'm going to put the last of these pens away and restamp him. Let's restamp him in first fine clear. more I think let that dry for a second right so let's get this little guy die cut I might just make his bag striped. Like that. Okay, so he's going to sit there. Okay, I think it needs something else, so I pulled out this um, stencil, which is a textures one, and it's actually supposed to be under the sea, but I thought that might look like TV rays. So what I thought I might do is just do a little bit of light stenciling in a yellow and then cut this down a bit so that's what I'm going to do if I don't like it I can always print this again so I'm going to do that in Very light squeezed lemonade, I think. <clears throat> so, I might 
just use what's already on the brush. put a little bit of yellow reflection on there so let me pick a yellow I'm just going to see if I can put just a little bit of indication of the brightness from the TV I've got to be careful because I've over stamped this in Versa Mark um, Versa Fine Claire, it's going to run if I'm not careful. I like that, I think. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut this smaller. So we could go with that one. And then do the black in that one. Okay, let me just cut this one first. I don't always like a big black border. I might cut that actually rather than using the dye. The board is a bit thick for me, so that is just under four. So do just over four. Of this, okay. I'm just going to do a bit of grey under his bottom as a shadow. I like that. So let's get this stuck together. him stuck on. <laughs> okay, let's do a bit of highlighting on him. So just highlight his glasses. 
a bit up here. Um, these feet. A bit on the bag. So, here's today's card. First Christmas card of the year. It's never too early for Christmas movies or to make your first Christmas card. So I usually um, do a couple of months through the year so that I've got enough at the end of the year. I don't need loads, but um, friends and family might want some to send as well. So that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.